y'all. Well, our power's out. It's been out since yesterday. We had a big storm coming through. But I still have projects to do, and today's my day off. Oh, I'm working tonight, so... I don't guess you care about that. But anyway, our power's out. So, I'm not one to just sit idly by, so I'm trying to find a project to do. Of course, you see we're still in the kitchen remodeling phase, but all of that ceiling stuff won't get done until my honey gets home. Um, he's got another week and a half or so. Well, I think today we're on, on two hands, so um, then he'll be home. But today I'm going to work on painting some of the trim and um, I'm going to show you how to preserve lemons. Preserved lemons are um, one of my favorite ways to flavor chicken and fish. So if you're baking chicken or you're baking fish or you're putting it on either one on the grill or the barbecue or you're smoking them, I love it. It's, it's awesome. And they're so, so easy. But another thing I need to tell you is not only are we out of power, electricity, we are out of water. So... I consider this a challenge, but here's what I did. I had some lemons, I had some lemons, but store-bought lemons, I think, need to be washed because you just don't know what they're using on them. So, I had some bottled water, and of course, you know, we store a lot of water just in case stuff like this happens. So, I put this pan full of water and then I put the lemons in then I put a splash of vinegar in. I like to do all my fruit, wash them in vinegar because it helps pull off like any of the wax or pesticides or yucky crap stuff that can be on um, any of your store-bought fruit. I don't have a lemon tree. <sighs> I, my in-laws have one. They have a Myers lemon tree and that, those are wonderful too to do preserve so basically what you do with this is you start to slice up your lemons and all you need to do or have for preserved lemons are lemons and kosher salt you can also use sea salt but take off cut off the little stem end you save those for your compost pile and then just start making thin slices I do one lemon at a time and then I layer them in a jar with kosher salt. The reason I do one lemon at a time is so that all the juice doesn't draw out of the lemon. It'll get actually in your, in your jar. So you get some kosher salt or you can use sea salt. You can use any kind of salt. I would not use table salt. Any kind of iodized salt, I, I avoid it. I don't even buy it. Like, my husband will buy it. I think, well, we buy it, like, for our meat, but to, when you're processing it. But other than that, I don't buy any kind of iodized salt or table salt. So, pull out the big seeds. And, of course, you're going to save them. So, you can try to grow your own lemon tree. Like that picture y'all saw for Pinterest. Now, it does work. I have done it multiple times. It does work. So you can grow your own lemon tree. Whether they will produce fruit or not, <laughs> that's a whole nother ball game. So, layer some salt on there. And then go to your next one. Cut that off. Cut the stem end off. And just slice them. I slice mine fairly thin, like a quarter of an inch thick. You can use a mandolin if you have one that's set, so you have, you know, exact measurements or whatever, but I don't. I just throw them in there. So I slice them about that thin. And make sure you pull out the big seeds. That's all you're doing. And it takes a long time for these 
not like years, but it'll take a couple weeks before you can actually use them. I wouldn't use these before a month was out. I think your flavor really develops after that. They do not taste tart like a lemon. It just takes on a whole nother flavor profile and they're awesome. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I could actually just eat them out of the front, out of the jar. Then after you get them all sliced and layered in there with your salt, you're gonna top it off with salt and then every day and then seal it up, of course. And then every day you're just gonna kind of give them a shake. Kind of like it with any of your fermented stuff. You gotta you want to pay attention to it. And the salt will draw out the water, the juice out of your lemons. And don't think that you can't use that. It gets real thick, like a syrupy, and that's awesome for like drizzling over fish, chicken, um, rice. That's good on there too. Just push it down. <sighs> rinse and repeat, people. Rinse and repeat. It does take a lot of salt. It, so, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. This is one of those things that you're going to be like, oh, I don't think that'll sound even good. Like, uh, Katie, that kind of sounds like lemon pickles. That sounds gross. But it's not. Trust me. In um, the Mediterranean areas, they they do them like whole, whole lemons or half lemons. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried that yet. I just think it's easier, and I don't want to take the chance of wasting them. So I don't haven't done any whole ones yet. Maybe I will if my in laws get a um, a good crop of Meyer lemons this year. Then I'll do them. But typically, they just get enough where they use them. They have enough for themselves. So maybe I'm trying to figure out a way to do it. But if I was doing the whole ones, I would want, I don't know. So you shake them down, shake them down, shake it down. Top up it a little bit more. Then just put your lid on it, like that. And then write the date on there. That's, that's one thing I'm terrible at. I'm terrible at keeping track of stuff because I just think somebody else should do it for me. Apparently I'm too busy to do so, do it. But anyway, that's what it should look like. Woo! That's what it should look like. Focus camera. So, put this in your refrigerator or in a cool, dark place. And then remember to give it a shake every once in a while. Every day, come back and shake it. Make sure everything's coated in salt so it doesn't get like a mold on it or it doesn't start to get funky. And then, it'll start, when it starts pouring, that making that syrup after about a month, you can just taste it. And you'll see that it doesn't taste like super salty. It doesn't taste like really tart. And then you know you're ready. And you might pour some of that syrup over your um, fish or your chicken or lamb or whatever you want. And, and then you can put a couple of the lemon slices onto your meat too when you're grilling it. It's super yummy. Let me know if you like it. Bye. Hey, I'm supposed to tell y'all to um, hit like and subscribe.